How's it going, everybody? This is Triple Dunk, and I am finally back on Doki Doki. Uh, it's been quite a while, so I do apologize for that. I was hoping to get to this game way, way, way sooner, <laughs> actually. Um, yeah, I, I'm already forgetting where we left off. I think the last thing we left off was... Cupcake? Cupcake. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me, let me, uh, Matsuki is there. Yuri. <laughs> like I said, it's been a while, but I guess I'll have to refresh my memory. All right. All right. All right. Let me, uh, just get back to it. Before I forget, do note that this is not a child's game or for those easily disturbed there may be sequences or times in the game visual novel that it may get dark so i'm just warning you now all right sayori i thought you didn't want to come over today uh -huh. well i tried staying in my room but my imagination was being really mean to me so I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? <laughs> you know. How much fun you're having with Natsuki. Right, we were baking cupcakes. That I do remember. <laughs> How close you got to her. It makes me really happy. You made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Aw, I just started. <laughs> Man, tears start to fall down Siori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Michael? All right, let me... I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart's splitting in half? It hurts. Everything hurts. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. Ever. Never. Ever. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Right. It's Sayori, Monica, Yuri, and Natsuki. Alright. Just, just refreshing my memory. <laughs> Monica was right. I should just... Monica... Monaco's right about what? Sayori. What I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something I want to do. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm gonna be by your side till you don't feel any more pain. But, Siori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Michael. I'm really scared. What are you scared of? I'm scared that I might like you more than you like me. Siori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak, and I started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Michael... I like you so much I want to die. That's how I feel. And it's enough, Siori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. Slide my hand down Siori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. You remember how I said I always know what's best for you? You still believe me? Yeah. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings. I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give to you. I love you. Eh? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you can like me more than I like you. 
should have realized it sooner. But, <laughs> I mean, come on, you got me friends at the club, right? You got me to actually join the club. So that's awesome. Spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day. It helps me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. So that's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this. Every day. Yeah. With you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Michael. Ah. Suddenly, Siori, Siori wraps her arms tightly around me. Michael, is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Siori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Michael. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Siori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Siori. I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all. It's okay, Siori. It might take time for things to get better, but no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. It's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. Siori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our uh, first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always was. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Michael. See how he gazes at me once again. Ah, stupid. Try not to. Okay. <laughs> it's the microphone. Ah. Smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? I don't understand what Siori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. I felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's a promise. I say that in reality, but I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Siori. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding her feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Siori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. She's the most important person to me and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Save it really quick. Yeah, holy crap, it's been <laughs> it's been almost two months. Sorry. Sorry everybody. Alright. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Siori, but Siori isn't answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but uh, it's a little too much. Meanwhile, preparation should be nearly done. I managed to carry all the cupcakes for myself by carefully stacking two trays full of them. Natsuki's already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Wait, why is there no music? Okay. I just realized there was no music playing. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Siori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event would be great too. 
Michael, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Mako is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I felt Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Siori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. <laughs> that dummy. You'd think that on days that's important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Siori told me yesterday. And I feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only say it's the way I'm used to thinking, but maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Haha. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Michael. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. Kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange. You know about that? Wait, how do you know about that? You weren't even there! <laughs> Sometimes I feel like... I don't know. Like, is it just me, or do I get the feeling that Monica knows more about a lot of things than I do? I mean, is it just me? I mean, she's the leader of this club, right? So, how would she... She wasn't even there. How would she know about the exchange? I don't know. I, I mean, I'm thinking a lot right now, so I'm trying to think of, like... Okay. I guess I ought to be in theory for now, but... I have a lot of ideas forming in my head. None of them are good. <laughs> None of them are good whatsoever. You know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But you weren't even there. I stammer and embarrassed. Siri really tell her about it that quickly? We're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez, you don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. See? <laughs> she even admits it. She knows a lot more than I do. And that's kind of creepy. Uh... Monica's being... Friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Yeah, these... These... These pamphlets look really nice. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, what about this one? Oh yeah, it looks really nice too. <laughs> oh my god. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yep, I thought so too. Flipping through the pages. Pages. Look at all these pages. <laughs> Each member's poem is neatly written on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Siori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Get out. That was not the poem! That was not the poem she wrote! Seriously? Just get out of my head like a billion times. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem's never actually finished. It just stops moving. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Michael? What's wrong? Nothing. This poem just feels different from everything else Siori's written. But more than that. I changed my mind. I'm gonna get Siori, so... Ah. Well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? Uh, why do I get the bad feeling about this? I mean, I had a bad feeling about it last time. 
but maybe this is the real deal now. Ugh. Don't strain yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta run after my friend. I was like thinking. Should have tried a little bit harder for her. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking to her school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they always have been. It's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach under her house and knock on the door. Hey, Sayori! Sayori, come on! We're late! We gotta go! I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. Can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Oh, if this is that scene, I might have to cut it out, guys. Uh, I might have to. So, just expect a little cutoff. If not, then don't expect it. You guys didn't need to see any of that. This is just getting weird. <laughs> Alright. I suppress the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Siri I would be there for her, but now this happened, and I told her everything would be okay. And why would she do that? And now the music picks up? <laughs> what did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I should not have confessed to her. That's not what she needed at all. Why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? Wait, so... Would this have happened no matter what choice I chose? I mean, it is a visual novel, right? It, it does kind of branch off a little bit, but... It's kind of like a Telltale's game. Like, it branches off and it ends up linear ending, right? I don't know. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been, then I could have prevented this. No, you could not have. Because I feel like... Because Monica is the one that told me I should have checked up on her. So maybe Monica is controlling the whole situation. I mean, it does make sense. Because she popped up at Sayori's room. Or at Sayori's house. A moment before Sayori went to talk to me. She popped up asking Natsuki about the cupcakes and me helping her. So I couldn't really help Sayori. I had to help either Natsuki or Yuri. So... I don't know. Just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. Now Carrie was killed me. Okay. What? What? D Wait a minute. D How is that? I knew it. I How does this make sense? I Wait, can I go back? Wait! Her character's missing? What? Her character is missing! What the? D 
This is getting weird now. <laughs> God. Wait. Wait. Does my history even show up? Wow. Doesn't even show up. Okay. Okay. Hi, Monica. It's not like I didn't just see you like 20 minutes ago. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Wait. That does make more sense because me as the character and Monica apparently were friends too, right? Like, back in the day, we were, like, old-time friends. But apparently we didn't talk. Because she was so smart and brilliant. What'd you come in here for, anyway? Oh, sorry, I've been skipping a whole bunch of stuff. I was just flabbergasted. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> the hell's going on here? Oh, i just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? Or pens? Or how to... Find my friend Siori back button? No. I guess you could check the closet. You're in a debate club, right? Ha ha ha! You're so funny about that. I'm in my own club. It's called the Doki Doki Literature Club. Where apparently your friend goes missing. And I control the situation. Can't stand all the politics. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget. And publicity and how to prepare for events. I rather much take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Literature? Sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, haha. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. There's only three of us. It's really hard to find new members or something. There was four! Letting you know, people. Well, I can see that. That's really not boring at all, you know? Literature could be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. Even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. Besides, a member's a member, right? Well, I could say she. Hmm. Hey, Michael. Any chance, are you... Still looking for a club to join. I, mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please. Um, I guess I have no reason to refuse. How can I refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I'll check it out. You know, making it more controlling, making me go to your club anyway. Selling my soul to you. Yeah, that'd be that'd be great. Okay, and I brought guests with me. Hey, Yuri! Who I know is Yuri and not girl number one. And Natsuki. Anyway, welcome to the club, Michael. Yeah, it's not like I haven't been here before. Yeah, I've said all this before. No, I'm not. Okay. Small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you and you again so I ran to Michael in the classroom and he decided to come check out the club isn't that great wait Monica didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought s anyone new I was going to well you know sorry sorry I didn't forget but I just happened to run into him in that case I should at least make some tea right 
Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Michael? Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new one. You can put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But what makes school events like the festival that much more important. Wait, did we even have the festival? Or is this all like... Loop. Until... Oh, God. I hope it doesn't loop like this over and over. I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. It's different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. I doubt it. <clears throat> Carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? It does, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, eh. That's not how I mean. I don't know. Yuri walks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. So, Michael, what kind of things do you like to read? Ah, uh, I like to read mangas and sci-fi and history. Some Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. You know. Nah. Manga? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, I could change. What am I saying? Spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasies. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in a world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep elements usually immerse me. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Didn't you already say this before? I'm just realizing that. Suits your personality. Uh, yeah, you did say this. Okay, why don't you share them sometime? No. Tsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Mm, you can't say that. Maybe I would. I liked it the first time. Yep. I I, I remember some of this some of this uh dialogue. So just trying to skip through it. I'm not trying to be a dick or anything. I'm just I, I just remember this. So if you guys. If you guys would like to read some of it, just go at a slower pace, or, you know, just pause. I mean, about this. Let's all go home and write it. Yep. 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 This is when she comes up with the poem reading idea. This is what I came up with, the idea that you guys should write a poem in the dialogue and description. I probably will, too. I haven't done that in a while. 
Uh, I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, seems like a good step for us to take. I love how she's like, oh, you don't even have to join. Just visit. And yet, I'm visiting and now I'm in the club. Controlling much? I don't know. There's still one problem. I never said I would join this club. <laughs> I never did. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I have other clubs to look at, and, um... Um... Are you guys all staring at me like that? You guys all look sad. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Eh. See, the only reason I joined the club in the first place was... Siori, the invisible Siori over there, who isn't really invisible. You guys probably already can imagine what happened. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Michael. Thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form a club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. Uh, sh sure. Right. Okay, I decide then. I'll join the club. Yep. I'll join the club. Just like before. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to have a great time. Okay. Write a poem. Look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Yeah. Guess I'll be in my way, then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow, then. Can't wait. Yep, this this already happened. Alright. You unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Sure. Things I like about Papa. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when he cooks me dinner. I like it when Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa spends time with me. I like when Papa asks me about my friends. I like when Papa asks me about anything. I like when Papa gives me lunch money. I like when Papa comes home before sundown. I like when Papa cooks. I like when Papa gives me privacy. I like when Papa doesn't tell me how to dress. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my friends or my hobbies. I like when Papa comes home without waking me up. <clears throat> I like when Papa keeps food in the house. I like when Papa uses his inside voice and he leaves my stuff alone. I like when Papa accidentally drops coins in the couch. I like when Papa's too tired to notice me. I like when Papa's too tired for anything. I like when papa is too tired for anything okay that 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 got creepy really fast ah uh, okay uh play whoops uh extraordinary nightgown Vivid. Uh, comfort. Uh, empty. Fluffy. Horrific rainbow full of candy. Ocean. Excitement of festering spinning silly smile full of vertigo and infallible landscape okay i'm just gonna save this off here this is already oh it emptied all my 
It emptied all my stuff. Well, it did start a new game for me. Um, yeah, it got a little weird, but, you know, I'm going to block off the one scene off so you guys don't see it. But if you guys do want to see it, uh, I'm pretty sure there's other playthroughs of the game that, you know, don't have it blocked off, but, or videos of it. So it's pretty dark. I'm going to warn you that. I mean, it's pretty dark, so, yeah, anyway, hope you guys like it, I will continue to play this game more and more, and, um, hopefully we'll get to the actual end, not just the end of the first part, so, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and triple dunk, signing out, have a great day, everybody.